hello everyone and welcome to my channel in this video i will be showing us how to sew a tube top or a strapless top or a bustier top but the very first thing we would be starting with is in the pattern making and for this um top you'll be needing your shoulder measurement your bust measurement your under bust measurement your shoulder to waist which is the half length and um, in this video Professionally, your half length, your front half length is longer than the back. Although most people don't use it, but I use it and it is always very good. Because of the bust in the front, our uh, half length in the front is always longer than the back. And the difference between my front half length and back half length is one and a half inches. And I will be imputing that. Just in case you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I will be teaching us how to impute our the difference between the front and the back half length that is where the bust that comes in so stay tuned and now let's get started so i've gone ahead to mark my chest line bust line under bust and waistline this is what i'm talking about my front waistline is 16 and a half while my back is 15. it is always good to employ this method it helps it's the best way actually so the next thing i'll be doing is that i will be determining the how much i want to reveal for my bust so i want to use six inches for my depth or you could simply come up by two inches from your chest line this is actually optional it depends on how much of your bust that you want to reveal so i'll go ahead and mark this line so from here to here is six inches from my shoulder point to this line here is six inches the next thing i'll be doing is to impute my bust span which most people call nipple to nipple and my bust span is eight eight divided by two is four inches so i'll mark it on my other bust line i'll mark it on this line also and i'll mark it here and connect with the straight line okay so i have marked my bust span measurement i did not connect here i'm only connecting from my bust point to my waistline so the next thing i'll do is to mark half of my shoulder slant and divide it into two and then connect from here to my bust point line i'll do that and show us so i'm gonna have to do that after that, you mark the distance between your bust point and your under bust and mark it all round. So mine is 3 inches and I'm taking it like a circle, not moving away from my bust point. It serves as a guide actually. So I'll go ahead and mark this point all round. If yours is 4 inches, you're taking 4 inches. So I'm going to have to achieve this circle. It is just a guide. The next thing I'll do is to take in my waist, my dart line. On my waist, I'll be using one inch, that is half inch on this side and half inch on this side. And then I'll connect it one inch below my bust point. And then on this upper part to do my over the bust tightening i'll take 0 0.75 inches on both sides that's 0 0.75 here 0 0.75 here making a total of 1.5 inches and i'll connect it to one inch before the bust point Can, as you can see so i actually connected my dart half inch before my bust point not one inch you can go ahead and do that so the next thing i'll be doing is to apply my measurements all around before doing my under the bust tightening and applying my bust dart so my bust measurement is 34 34 divided by 4 is 8.75 and then on this line i'll mark out what i'll be losing which is about 0 0.6 so 8.5 plus 0 0.6 is 9.1 then my waist measurement is 25 25 divided by 4 is 6.75 plus 1 inch that is 7.75 so i'll go ahead and mark 
So I've gone ahead to join together. Now to do my under the bus typing, my under bus measurement is 29. 29 divided by 4 is 7.25. So I'll just mark 7.25 on this my under bus line. And then from this point to here, I'm going to mark what I have left. I have about 1.2 inches left and I will spread it across this side. So that's about 0.6 on both sides. So I'll take 0.6 on this side and 0.6 on this side. Actually doing your under bust tightening this way gives you a very good bust curve. So I'll go ahead and connect with my pattern master. Connect this way. And then you join the dart legs like this and join this also this way. So the next thing I will do now is to include my bust dart. Remember that the difference between my front half length and back half length is 1.5. My front is 16.5, my back is 15. So I'll just come here from this bust point line and mark 1.5. And then I'll connect it to my first point. So it's this is the way we're going to do it. The next thing now is to mark our neckline. So we are going to be doing a sweetheart neckline, and I'll be coming down by 0.75 from this side just to create my neck depth. And then with your free hand, you can also use your pattern master. I'm going to connect it this way. And then also go down this way from this second dart and go down this way and connect it to my chest line. You can see that the shape is already coming out. If you want, your neck depth could be lower than this. It's a matter of choice. So the next thing I'll be doing now, okay, if you want to apply a yoke, this place, this part we are chopping off would be your yoke. But I'm not using a yoke. So the next thing I will do now is to go ahead and cut. But before cutting, I always like to label my panels. So this is my panel one and my panel two. And don't worry, for this bust that we would be closing it. And I would show you how to close your bust that. But first of all, uh, we would have to cut out this pattern first. Remember, I have not added seam allowances. I would add seam allowances when I'm cutting on my fabric. So I'm going to add to chop off the dart. The next thing to do is to close this bust dart. It is very easy. All you have to do is to this line, make sure it aligns this line, make sure it aligns with this line. So bring it this way and close it and then grab your tape and then just pin it down exactly and then you're done. That is all. I know some of you may be thinking, how will it align when I'm sewing? As long as you have closed it here, you don't need to worry about this uh, this length here. It's going to align when you eventually sew it. And then when we are doing the sewing tutorials, you're going to see how it's going to be. So now let us move to the back pattern. So for the back, I've gone ahead to draft my basic product block for the back. And I also included my zip allowance. The back is very easy to do. What we just have to do is to create our neckline. And I want my neckline to start from my chest line, but I want it to be a little bit deeper. So I'll be coming down by one inch here, and then I would connect from this. This is my bust point measurement. So I would connect. Then, in order to prevent that bulging at the back of the zip, all I have to do is to take half inch from my zip allowance here, Take half inch from my zip allowance and then connect it. So I will have that slant illusion at the back. But we also need to add that half inch back so that our measurements can align. So I'll, that half inch I took away from here, I will add it back here. It always works for me. If you've not tried it before, this is an opportunity to try it. So I'll connect it back here. So. I don't have any fear that my measurement is incomplete and then I'll go ahead and cut. Remember, I have not added seam allowances. I would add seam allowances when I'm cutting on my fabric. 
and this that i'll be cutting it out so in, in order to make it easy for me i'll just connect this straight line and cut through my darts so i'm cutting this part out so i've gone ahead to cut out in order not to get confused i will label my pattern this is my zip allowance i'll give it one and this is two and i'll place an arrow so that i will know that i'm cutting facing upward and then i would write add seam allowances so that i don't forget so now we are done with the pattern drafting the next thing is to proceed to the cutting of the fabric all we have to do is to add seam allowances when necessary you add half inch here half inch here and half inch here half inch here half inch here half inch here and one inch over there i'm sure we should be able to do all that so here's my front pattern and here is my back pattern and then you would see that our back length has now aligned with the front length that's because we already closed the bust that so there's no problem as long as you've closed your bust that everything will align so i'll go ahead and cut my fabric now <laughs> 